Wow, we are really 245 days into the year and I find myself getting extremely anxious about what I still need to accomplish. I have so many targets and deadlines that I need to hit and I'm still trying to figure out all of my strategies. Such is life, I guess. If you're new here, my name is Felicia Mezadu. I am a creative UX and graphic designer based in Houston, Texas. I work for a startup tech company in the aesthetics and wellness space. And on my channel, I love to document design, life, and the journey. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to stick around and keep watching. Within the last eight months, I have done a lot, but it doesn't feel like a lot. And I can't ditch the thought of feeling like I'm not doing enough. Have I done enough? What have I done? Well, let's see. Over the last few months, I have put a lot of focus into my space. I have been living in this apartment for at least a year and a half, and I felt like it was time to nurture it. When I first moved into this space, I allowed my plants to fill in the gaps of extra decor that I really wanted. And it worked for some time, but I'm ready for more. So I have been adding more little by little and trusting the process and really just hoping that this all comes together during the season that I am still living in this apartment. I even created a cute little vibe outside on my patio just so I can enjoy reading and fresh air and the shade and the sun and all the things. But it's not the easiest to keep this patio neat with all of the landscapers constantly cutting the lawn and leaving the residue on my balcony. Not to mention, it's a bit harder to take care of plants outside, but I'm doing my best. Be post, so for them, like if that's the case, then I would not recommend scaling back on stories. Just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, so number five is to prioritize threads. Now, getting through my UI UX design course with Course Careers has also been a major priority within the last eight months. I really cannot wait for the day where I receive my certification and I can put this course behind me and actually move on to real life work. There have been so many delays in getting this course done, but I'm committed to seeing it through no matter how long it takes. Lately, I have gotten a lot more design opportunities at work and I'm thinking this will be permanent and I can definitely see myself progressing as a designer. So that's been really great as well. It's been something that I have been putting energy into so we can add that to the list. I'm not the best at it, but I do try to make time for a social life. And here is one of the many places that I got the opportunity to experience this year. I discovered this cute little library wine bar on Instagram a while back, and I finally got the opportunity to experience it with one of my friends. Yeah. Hi almost wore something similar. No, it doesn't look appetizing. Is it good? It's really good?
And of course, I cannot forget to mention all of the time that I have been spending with AIGA. It has been a complete blast. We had our board retreat at one of the top design studios in July, and it was exciting to finally get onboarded and meet all the new members. As I reflect over the documentation of my life over the past few months, I realize that I have done a lot. And while I feel as if I should be doing more, only I can be the judge of that. All I can do is be intentional about each day and continue to commit myself to the process. It's my process and I'm running my race to the finish line. And that is good enough.